Welcome to my art video tutorial on forms for beginners. In this video, we will lay the foundation for understanding forms and explore why they are essential in the world of art. So let's get started. Forms are three-dimensional objects that possess volume, depth and occupy space. They are the fundamental elements that bring realism and depth to our artwork. Form provide the illusion of objects having weight, shape and structure. You might be wondering why should we start learning about forms? Well, forms are all around us. They exist in everyday objects, architecture, landscapes and the human figure. By understanding forms we can accurately represent the three-dimensional world on a two-dimensional surface such as a canvas or paper. Learning forms opens up a whole new realm of artistic possibilities. It allows you to create realistic and convincing artwork, whether you're drawing, painting, sculpting or even working in digital media. By mastering forms you will gain the ability to bring depth, dimension and sense of realism to your art. So whenever you're a beginner or have some experience in art, developing a solid foundation in understanding form is crucial. It will serve as the building blocks for your artistic journey. Don't worry if you feel overwhelmed at first because with practice and dedication you will gradually gain confidence and proficiency in the piecing forms. In the following chapters we will delve deeper into the world of forms exploring different techniques, shading, composition and more. So stay tuned and let's embark on this artistic adventure together. Forms come in various shapes and sizes and they can be found all around us. Let's take a closer look at some of the common examples of forms. We can divide forms into five simplest ones, which can help us to break down everything that we want. These are cubes, spheres, cylinders, cones and pyramids. A cube is a six-sided form with equal dimensions on all sides. It represents stability and solidity. Think of a dice or a building block. A sphere is a perfectly round form resembling a ball. It represents unity and harmony. Visualize a ball or the earth. A cylinder has two circular bases and a curved surface connecting them. It represents strength and stability. Picture a cone or a pillar. A cone has a circular base that tapers to the point. It represents movement and direction. Imagine an ice cream cone or a traffic cone. A pyramid has a polygonal base and tri triangular faces that converge to a point. It represents hierarchy and power visualize the pyramids of Egypt. By familiarizing yourself with these forms you will develop a better understanding of their structure and how they interact with light and space. Each form has its own unique structure. Understanding the underlying structure helps you deposit forms accurately. Here are some key points to keep in mind. Cubes have straight edges and the flat faces at right angles to each other. Spheres have a curved surface that wraps around all in all directions. Cylinders consist of curved surfaces and circular bases. Cones have a pointed apex and a curved surface that tapers to a base. Pyramids have a polygonal base and triangular face that converge to a point. Remember, forms exist in three-dimensional space. They have volume, depth and occupy a specific position. As an artist it is essential to consider the structure and spatial relationships of forms when representing them in your artwork. Now that we've explored examples of forms and their structure, it's time for you to put this knowledge into practice. Grab your sketchbook, pencils and let's start drawing these forms from different angles light and lighting conditions. By practicing regularly, you will develop a keen eye for form and enhance your artistic skills. Draw simple geometric shapes from different angles and perspective. 
To begin, we will focus on drawing simple geometric shapes such as cubes, spheres, cylinders, cones and pyramids. The goal is to imagine all sides of the shapes, even if they are not directly visible, and create cross-contour lines to depict the form accurately. Here's how you can approach this exercise. Select a geometric shape you want to draw, let's say a cube for example. Visualize the cube in your mind and imagine all sides simultaneously, even if you can't see them from your viewpoint. Start by lightly sketching the basic outline of the cube from one angle, and then draw cross contour lines that flow across the form, following the imaginary lines that wrap around the shape. Focus on maintaining consistent spacing and curvature of the contour lines to convey the three-dimensional nature of the form. Repeat the process with different shapes and angles, practicing the concept of imagining all sides simultaneously and incorporating cross-contour lines. I remember this exercise is about training your ability to envision the full form and represent it convincingly on paper. It might take some time and practice to develop this skill. So be patient with yourself. Using references is a valuable tool for artists by breaking down complex subjects such as animals into simple forms we can better understand their underlying structure and proportions. This exercise will allow you to practice this technique and enhance your ability to deposit organic shapes. Here's how you can approach this exercise. Choose a reference image of an animal that interests you. It can be a photograph, a drawing or even a sculpture. Begin by observing the overall shape and structure of the animal. Identify the primary forms that make up its body such as spheres, cylinders, cones and cubes. Visualize the animal as a combination of these basic forms, focusing on their placement, size and relationships. Gradually refine your drawing by adding more details using the basic forms as a framework. Pay attention to the proportions and angles of the forms as they will help you create an accurate representation of animal. Remember, the goal of this exercise is not to create a realistic rendering, but to understand how to simplify complex shapes into manageable forms. Remember to observe the reference closely, identify the basic forms and use them as a foundation for your drawing. Don't worry about being perfect and capturing every detail. Focus on understanding and simplifying the underlying forms. Once you have practiced breaking down animals' forms into simple geometric shapes, you can apply the same approach to the other subjects like complex objects and humans. By developing this skill, you will be able to approach any subject matter with greater ease and draw from your imagination with confidence. Complex objects such as intricate machinery, architectural structures or vehicles can be broken down into basic forms just like animals. By analyzing and simplifying their underlying structure, you can capture their essence and proportions more effectively in your drawings. Similarly, humans are a fascinating subject to explore. By breaking down the human body into simplified forms like spheres, cylinders and cones, you can better understand its anatomy and proportions. This knowledge will empower you to draw human figures from your imagination with accuracy and confidence. Remember, the key to mastering these skills is practice. As you continue to break down various subjects into their basic forms, you will train your eye and mind to recognize the underlying structure in an object or figure. With enough practice, you will develop the ability to translate your observations into convincing drawings, even when drawing from your imagination. Continue honing your skills by exploring different or complex objects and studying the human figure. With dedication and practice you will build a solid foundation that will allow you to create artwork that truly reflects your imagination and vision. So stay excited and keep pushing your artistic boundaries. In the next video we will embark on an enlightening journey into the realm of perspective. See you there.